Good morning and welcome back. In Lowe's water. Um, I stayed here last summer and it did a few fells. The walk I'm going to do today was one I planned on doing last year but um, I don't think the weather was kind enough so I had to miss that one out. Um, so today I'm hoping to take a I'm hoping to right let's let's start that again shall we I've not had much sleep. I'll explain more about that in a bit. Um, today, I'm hoping to tick off five new Wainwrights. Um, Burnbank Fell, Gavel Fell, um, Blake Fell, not in that order, um, Hencombe and Melbreak. Um, it's a beautiful day. Um, it's going to rain tomorrow night, I think. So today and tomorrow I'm making the most of the weather. I'm gonna try and do um, a few fells. So today's trek is just under 10 miles, I believe. Probably more like 11 or 12 for me because you can guarantee I'm gonna go wrong somewhere. Um, yeah, anything else? Oh yeah, running shoes are on. Um, hoping to run bits of it because I have an ultra in less than six weeks 45 miles which I'm panicking that I'm not trained enough for so yeah I've bought myself some poles I don't know if you can see them on my backpack um, it'll be my first time running with poles I have walked with poles years ago um, but yeah, I'm thinking I might try running with them. It might help me last a bit longer on my ultra. So we shall see. Right, let's crack on. Right, so I mentioned about being tired and not having much sleep. Um, for the last three days, I've been marshalling at the Lakeland 50. Um, and a hundred ultra marathon. Um, so for the whole weekend since probably six o'clock Friday morning through to two o'clock Sunday afternoon, I've had very little sleep. Um, we have been working on five, six hour shifts and then five, six hours off, but it's just been impossible to sleep in between um, and then all I've been dreaming about when I have got sleep is um, putting cars telling people where to park the cars and where to pitch the tents um, yeah it's been pretty full on so I arrived at Borrowdale Youth Hostel Sunday afternoon pitched up my tent and now my holiday officially starts and I can get out and I can do what I want. I've got my ultra marathon in just under six weeks which is the lap at Windermere, 45 miles. I think it's actually 47 because I'm going anti-clockwise. I don't know where they get the extra two miles um, just by doing it the other way around. So yeah. I feel like I need, well, I don't feel like I'm ready if I'm honest, um, but I think no matter how much training I do, I don't think I'll ever feel ready, so I can only do what I can, um, yeah, there's a 24 hour cut off, it's open for runners and walkers, worst case scenario, I'm sure I'll be able to walk it and get around. Don't know what state I'll be in at the end, but um, yeah, I'll worry about that afterwards. All right, let's crack on, shall we?
So just getting back to when I was marshalling and directing people where to park and to pitch the tents as they were arriving um, on the Friday. Um, he actually perked up a guy and he said to me, do you have a YouTube channel? And I said, yeah. He said, oh, I've watched, watched some of your videos. And I thought, oh, that's really good. Um, so yeah, I feel like I'm YouTube famous. <laughs> that sounds really pathetic. Um, but yeah, when, um, when I get home, see my daughter, I'm gonna tell her and she'll think that's amazing. Um, didn't get the guy's name, but I'm not sure if it was Tony. Um, so if it's not Tony and you watch this video, I do apologize, but let me know what, um, who you are. And yeah, thank you for um, your comments when we had a little chat. It um, makes it all worthwhile. So yeah, I hope you got around the 50 and I hope you're not too battered after it. Um, and if you're doing it again next year, we may see each other again. Right, the poles are out. So it's my first time running using poles. So it could be interesting. Um, so the ones I've got are the Harrier Elvelin carbon poles. Um, like I said, not sure how they'll be, whether I'll find them helpful or a hindrance, but yeah, no doubt you'll find out as the day goes on. first one, burn bank fell and I can just see two people stood on the top it's quite windy it's very boggy, very wet I need to get to the other side of that fence I'm hoping there's a style or a gate at some point because the path looks a lot better on that side right found a style um, uh, can't be too far from the top now, hopefully. Um, I can just about see some of the other fells which I'm going to be climbing. Um, Melbreak, just over there. Oh, apparently that's a bit of a scrambly one coming down, so I'm kind of scared but excited at the same time because I do like scrambling. Oh. made that harder work than it needed to be. Right, onward. Windy! Is it 
wind shelter here, but there's no kern. All right, let's just have a minute and consult the map. Right, you know I said at the beginning, it was just under 10 miles this walk, and it'll probably end up being 11 or 12 because I go wrong. I'm at the top of Blake Fell, which was the second one. Um, so yeah, I have missed out Burnbank, so I'm going to have to go back which is over there and then come back up here to then carry on to the next one after that which is I think Gavel Fell yes Gavel Fell it's a good job I'm ultra training isn't it because the extra mileage will come in handy to be fair um, yeah looks pretty runnable so at least I can run a bit Right, I suppose I'd better get moving then. <sighs> so yeah, Blake fell one of five, but it should have been number two, not number one. Right, see you shortly. Here we go. It took me about five minutes to get up here. Is it long at all? Right, so there's the wind shelter. There's a little cairn over there. I'm not sure which one. I take that back. I'm not near the top. I'm at. On the map, it says pile of stones. So I've come in completely the wrong direction for Burnbank Fell. Um, so yeah, I'm not doing very well today, but I'm just looking at it as extra mileage for my ultra. Probably doing like loads more ascent, but again, it's not going to hurt, is it? Right, let's go back down and try again. Very windy. Woo! Right, so what I was up with the pile of stones was Carling Knot, just behind me. Blake Fell is that one over there, which I did climb up. I came over that, but I didn't realise it was a top. So I have done it. I've just not got photographic proof. So you're just going to have to take my word for it. Right, so now I'm going to head back up towards Blake Fell, see if I can skirt around and then on to Gavel Fell. Right, mystery solved. That's because I'm being too quick. I'm not um, taking a minute to check my map. I'm just racing straight through. Too keen. Right, let's try it again. straight across now to Gavel Fell, which I think I should really check, but I'm heading that way. also realised I do a lot of extra miles to set the camera up, walk back, record myself coming down, walk back to the camera, run down. So yeah, it's not always my fault that I go wrong but it usually is. I've just had a 
good chat with a couple who've stopped me. Um, they saw me lying down on the floor um, when I was talking into the camera and they thought I'd had an accident so they were asking if I was all right. So I was just having a good chat. They were asking um, about the poles, if they were any good. They were asking about my shoes, which are the Innovate Ultra Fly, which I'm not a fan of. Um, and we we're having a chat about Lakeland 50 as well. Um, so yeah, it's good to just bump into people and have a chat. Don't get that in Wigan. Right, just heading up Gavel Fell now, which is the third one of the day. Once I get there, I'll have a break and something to eat. the top of Gavel Fell. Ugh, so boggy. Wasn't really expecting this but it has put quite a bit of rain down. Have a minute. Right, I'm heading down now off um, Gavel Fell over to Henko, which I think is that one over there. And then that is Melbrick. And then the second one is Melbrick, which I'm hopefully finishing on. near the top because it's so bloody windy well I think I'm at the top my watch is telling me I'm off course oh now I'm on course So I'm heading down. Now the route I'd plotted was to go back down the way I came, but on my plan it's telling me to go east southeast down to um Molesdale Beck, I think. So that's what I'm doing. Um could go horribly wrong, but we shall see. footbridge I'm heading for. As usual I came a different way than I should have done. Just had to fight my way through all that. There was a footpath um, it was just very overgrown so I could kind of see where I should be going and um, just had to fight through the ferns a bit 
and I think I'm going to have to fight through a little bit more. Or maybe I can get down there. Let's have a look where the best path is. There's not actually any paths on the map at all for this fell. Um, it's just a case of find one which looks trodden and follow that. So that's what I'll do. Right, onwards. Right, so I've just come down there. Um, wasn't planning on having to do any scrambling just yet. But I can see the bridge. Um, I just can't see a clear path to get to it. It does look like other people have come this way because all the ferns are trodden. Right, so I found the bridge and I've also found the footpath. Better than coming down there. Oh well. So, this is Moresdale Beck. The next stop is Melbrake, which is just ahead of me. I'll just get over this little hump and then you'll be able to see it better. There. So I've got to climb all the way back up there from the valley floor. Not to worry, let's see how many miles I've done. Done nine and a half miles up to now. Um, I'm about half a mile away from the car, so if I wanted to bail, I could do, but I'm not going to do that. I'm having far too much fun getting lost. Um, oh, my feet are just about dry, and I've got to go through that. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> right. So, yes, I feel like I've got a hell of a big climb ahead of me. Right. Finally found a bit of a footpath. I've had to fight my way through some more heather. Um, but, yeah. There's Hengome. And then... This is Melbrake. I must admit, I nearly called it quits. If I hadn't been able to see a footpath and I hadn't seen another couple of people on the footpath, I'd have probably said, you know what, I'll leave it, I'll come back. But no, I'm cracking on. Right, let's go. This has been a hard slog coming up the side of Melbrake. So steep. Thank goodness I had the poles. I don't think I'm too far away now. Fingers crossed. It's getting very windy. It's going quite dull. I think we might be having some rain. 
quick five minutes at the top, something to eat, and then get down. done now, time to head down, get out this wind. So, bottom here and fleet with pike. Fleet with pike's gonna be my last one. Um, hopefully it won't be long before I can get there. Um, yeah, that's all five done now for the day. 28 to go. Right. Oh. Yeah, I've got to go back the way I came, over the ridge, and then drop down to the car. Let's see how many miles I'm on. Eleven point six miles. So my just under ten miles is way out the window, and I've got another two miles ish to get back to the car. So yeah, eleven, thirteen and a half, maybe fourteen miles. So not bad. Good run. I should be hitting twenty miles at the minute for my training, but. I'm not doing, I'm going to be doing another run tomorrow which is about 10 miles, maybe a bit more. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit right. Starting the descent now down Melbrick, down the nose, and I believe there's a scrambly bit which some people don't like. Uh, yeah. We shall see how we go on. It's very hard to hold a camera and run with poles. Oh. Oh. I'm just going to stop for a minute and take in this view.
was fun coming down there. Um, I'm not sure what I was expecting. Um, I knew some people had said it was really tough. I was expecting it to be like rocky crags to scramble over. Um, not all the loose grey, but I can tell you what, these poles, absolute lifesaver today. Oh, little lamb. Yeah, absolute lifesaver today. Stopping me slipping all the way down there. Um, and they saved my quads quite a bit. So yeah, definite thumbs up for the sticks. Nearly back at the car, about a mile away. Should be quite a gentle um, walk or run back. Now, might just have a minute, let my legs recover from, from coming down there. Oh, 